All right, everybody. Strictly Saw Performance with another video here for you. A little bit different this time. What we're going to do today is we're going to be replacing the door window switch on the main driver door with this one. This one is the original that I got in the car. Um, it has comfort opening only. I thought that I could grab another switch box this one which I pulled out of a convertible and it does have comfort opening and closing I thought that I'd be able to just drop that right in my door and we'd be good to go turns out when I went to program the module itself because each door has a module like this and each one needs to be programmed in the tech 2 I know, right? Window switches need to be programmed. Anyway, uh, so it's stopping me from doing what I want to do. It's balking because Tech 2 is saying this is out of convertible, the rest of the car is a sedan, it's not going to work. So we're going to pull it out and replace it today. Okay? Uh, you get a fixed video shot, that's where it is, that's where it's going to stay. I'm not moving the camera around. I may be blocking the shot at some time. I'll apologize in advance. Looks like we're going to need just two tools this time, from what I can remember. We need a small flathead, so we can pry stuff off. And we need what I think is either a T20 or a T25. It could be as small as a T15. I don't know what size they are, they don't say, but they're Torx bits, so it is what it is. Alright, so here we go. I've already loosened this, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Strictly saw performance. Let's get it done. Okay. So we've got some screws in here, two that need to come out. No gloves today. That's how I do it. There we go. Two screws out. Okay, so now we have to take the door panel off. And that's where this little guy comes in. I thought I could do it without it, but it looks like I can't. So there we go. So we're just going to loosen these little push connectors all the way around the door. Okay. And off comes the door. You're not really going to be able to see what I'm doing until I get it out. So. First the brown connector. Okay, that's the banjo or strap fitting, I don't know what they call that officially. Alright, so now we can get the switch out. I don't believe it's screwed in anywhere. So we're just going to work it out. Little tabs on the inside. Andy, do it again. And there it is. And as you see, it actually says what it was. 0893. Why is it reversed? I don't know why that does that. Anyway, 0893 convertible. So that's our old one. Here's our new one. We're going to just go ahead and write what this is on here in case this happens again. This is 05. 
93 arrow. Okay. So that's it. Okay, the switch goes in the same way. This is, God, this switch is in bad shape. Look at it. Ugh. Now you see why I wanted this one. See the difference? Ugh. Oh well. All right. So we're going to put this back in. Two lock, three locking tabs. Okay, you know what I forgot? We want to take the little insert out too. Forgot about that. <laughs> All right. So in the switch goes, no fuss, no muss. All locking tabs are in, excellent. We're not gonna put that cover in until after we put the panel back. So we just reverse the two connectors, that's it. That's it. Alright, so the door lock handle decided to be a little pain in the butt. So Okay, and that's it for now. I'm gonna pause the video. Okay, back now. All right. Paintbrush, very handy. Always stays in the car. Handy for cleaning. It's great. Love the little paintbrush. Love those glasses too. All right. Just like that. Yeah, it was dirtier than I thought in there. Probably should have worn gloves. There you go. Another successful job. Strictly solid performance. All your sob needs. Have a great day.